Hey everyone, welcome to Mr. Yu's Reviews. Today I'm reviewing the new film on Disney Plus, Artemis Fowl. This film follows young genius Artemis Fowl, who is the son of a criminal mastermind. And when his father goes missing, he uses the help of an elf fairy, a dwarf, and more to try and find his father. To begin, let's talk about the positive aspects of this film. The visuals and production design do a good job at creating what we see of the different worlds, whether it be like the elf and fairy world, or the dwarf world, or even what we see at Earth with the manor that Artemis Fowl lives in. And they are visually pleasing to look at uh, with all like the visual effects used um, on like the mystical buildings and everything but unfortunately other than these aspects the film falls flat in many ways one negative aspect of this film is the acting from the whole cast there are some actors in this movie that really underact and their performances come up as bland because they don't you know they don't perform with their body language or facial expressions or even their line delivery. They just really come off as bland. And then there are some actors here that really overact and their performances come off as um, just unintentionally comedic. So it would have been so much uh, better if all the actors could find a balance and as a result, it would really, you know, give some strong performances for this film. The major problem with this film, though, is the script. And there are a lot of different problems with it. But a big problem is how the film kind of tells you lots of background information instead of showing it to the audience. Um, you know, you, you learn that Artemis Fowl's father is a criminal mastermind but that is told to the audience. Instead, you know, it would have been cool to actually maybe start out the film seeing Artemis Fowl's father, you know, do some sort of crime and how he's really smart about it. But they don't give you that. They give you, you know, characters like telling, you know, another character about this, uh, you know, background or like a character reading a book and you kind of read with the character. Um, and it's just really lazy um, exposition uh, in a way and storytelling. So if they could have shown, you know, these this cool background information, it would have really helped me, you know, get invested more uh, to the film and the events that are taking place. Continuing, the world building and character development in this film are not written well. And as I say again, with the world building, a lot of it is told to the audience. And they don't even tell you, you know, a lot of information, but the film expects you to, you know, have already learned a lot and expects you to be right on the ride. But throughout the film, I was still, you know, wondering more about the characters. And even when there was like only 30 minutes left in the film, I was shocked because I had learned so little about the characters and the background um, through what they were telling us. And you know, like, there are these elf fairies and they have these kind of powers and things. And it seemed like they, they just had like all these different powers that were, you know, shown to the audience. And as a result, because the script is really lazily written, it felt like they could just say an, a random power that they have. There were no boundaries here in this script and in this world and with the character development um, it seems like the makers of this film wanted there to be an arc for Artemis Fowl to become like a criminal mastermind like his father and without spoiling the end of the film you know acts like there was a big arc when in you know in reality Artemis kind of stayed the same throughout the film and was just going through these events without any change happening to his character or personality or even his skills. So if, uh, if these aspects were really improved, 
that would as a result really improve the film. But unfortunately, they, they just expect you to know all this information and they don't build the world or characters well. In addition, the action scenes were poorly edited because they use the type of editing where it slows down for one second and then whenever there's a punch or an impact of some sort, it speeds up and it really sped up really fast and then slowed down right after. So the scenes were really choppy whenever there was action used and it made it hard to see what was going on um, during certain points. And although the visual effects were cool to look at on the sets and locations, whenever they were used on characters such as mulch diggums, uh, they, they were very noticeable. And that took me out of the film during the scenes where the visual effects were utilized. In the end, Artemis Fowl was a film that did not work because although there were some aspects that were cool such as the production design and the visuals used on the locations, the other aspects such as the script with lacking information that was lazily written, the acting that was either bland or really overacted, the action scenes with poor editing, and the visuals used on characters really bogged down this film. And the director of this, Kenneth Branagh, has proven in the past to be a good director. He directed lots of, you know, Shakespearean adaptations and even the first Thor film. But unfortunately, something was not there for me uh, with this film. And I have to give Artemis Fowl a D. Thanks for watching. And as always, don't forget your popcorn. Until next time, from Mr. You to you, stay tuned.